sequence flows in BPMN. Business process model and notation utilizes extensive notation to prepare business process models and business process maps. One important ingredient of that notation set is a sequence flow, which is part of the flow object. This is how a sequence flow looks like. It is available in the BPMN basic shapes palette or BPMN basic shapes stencil. This is how a sequence flow looks like. You can see it here. I am deleting this now. What you see here on this screen is a BPM model for address change process at a bank. So there is a customer who wants to get his address changed. And then there is another pool of the bank which involves help desk and the processing center. So the customer wants to get his process changed. He submits the change of address form to the help desk at the bank branch. Help desk forwards it to the processing center. So they process the change of address. They verify form and account. They implement the change of address processing center. So processing center is a different lane. In BPM, the two different participants in a given pool can be shown in two different lanes as has been done here. They implement the change of address. They send the confirmation. So process for the bank ends here. Then a message flow happens between the bank and the customer. That message flow can be through an automated SMS. That can even be a triggered email. Or in addition to these two, this can even be a verbal over the counter confirmation. And the, for the customer process ends here. So let's understand how we are utilizing the sequence flow. Sequence flows are the flow object elements in BPML. You must remember sequence flows connect activities, events and gateways in BPML. In this model, there are no gateways. So only activities are and events are connected. If we validate this diagram, I will just do a check diagram here. You can see diagram validation is complete and no issues were found in the current diagram. So syntax wise, this diagram is correct because for the rules, the sequence flow is connecting only activities, event and gateways, and it is not crossing the boundaries of the pool. So if there is any message or any communication which has to happen across two participants who are in different pools, a message flow will happen. Within the same pool, sequence flow can connect activities, events and gateways as it has been done here. You can even check by changing, let's say we change this to a sequence flow. So change shape, let's say sequence flow is shown. Okay. So I am changing this to sequence flow. Also, I am again changing this to sequence flow just to show you that this is not allowed in BPMN. And even the check diagram functionality in Visio does not allow this. So I change this as well. Change shape. Okay. Now I click on check diagram. So you can see sequence flow must not cross a pool boundary. Sequence flow must not cross a pool boundary. So for now I close the window. I'll do one more thing. I will try to attach sequence flow with some other element. Let's say I join this sequence flow with a data store. Let's try to do that. So I am trying to connect sequence flow with the data store. Let's see what happens. So again, we need to verify our rule that sequence flow will connect only activities, events and gateways and nothing else. So let's verify the diagram once again.
So you can see a data object or data store must be connected to at least one association. A data object, data store, lane message must not have incoming sequence flow. So you can understand the errors. So I will remove this for now and change these ones again to message flows which can be done even on the right click again I do it here message flow I'll validate my diagram again so you can see diagram validation is complete and no issues were found in the current document I am closing the issues window so this is my diagram sequence flows in BPMN so to recap sequence flows connect activities events and gateways and nothing else sequence flows cannot cross boundaries of a pool with this I have covered what I intended to cover here in this session and before I close I'll give you a simple technique you can see these two tasks are not well aligned so I can align them by nudging this down but you can see moment I nudge it down it never mm, aligns perfectly so to do this press the shift key and then do a nudge down this is called as fine alignment in Visio so if I press the shift key and nudge it down then uh, it will the diagram will align itself properly friends with this I close here thank you for attending this session